Hey guys, good morning. Wow, we are having a we are having a great hair day today. Um, for those of you who have never tuned in, this is the Dr. Kelsey Show where I come live every morning at 8 a.m. Central Time, looking like a hot mess and giving you guys some health-related info. So today we're gonna to talk about losing belly fat. I got this question from a client uh, over the weekend. She kind of emailed me and she sent her progress photos with a little red arrow on her lower belly, on that little kind of lower belly pooch that most women have and most women struggle with. And she had that little red outline and she said, how do I get rid of this? And that's, I think, honestly, I think that's one thing most women struggle with, no matter what your size is. And so, you know, this woman, she's had two kiddos now, and she's my, she is my client because we're working together to help her kind of bounce back from that second baby. So I, you know, explained to her, we're when we're work, working on losing belly fat and specifically around tightening up that core, we're focusing on two things, especially for moms. So if you're a mom, this especially applies to you. It applies to everyone, but if you're a mom, this is especially important. So two things, number one, are you doing the right movements and are you doing those movements correctly to engage your core and actually tighten up those muscles? So we have to worry about, to some extent, muscular integrity of those muscles, right? So you have, as part of your core, the transverse abdominis, which is that corset type muscle, right? And that's one that in a lot of moms, pregnancy really stretches out. So making sure that the movements you're doing are the right movements to engage that muscle is number one, right? And in conjunction with that, making sure that your diet matches up so that you can feel muscle building, right? If you're doing all of the right movements, but you don't have the nutrition to support it, you're never gonna get that muscular integrity, right? Now that can get a little, <laughs> hey Drew, what's up? I'm talking about moms and, moms and belly fat, Drew, if you wanna chime in here. Um, so that's number one is worrying about muscular integrity, right? And if we don't have the nutrition to support that, we're not going to get anywhere. So it's very important that those two things go hand in hand. And I think a lot of moms, their new, their, incl their inclination when they are struggling with these things is to start dieting, right? But if you're doing all the right movements and you don't have that nut nutrition to support muscle building, you're not gonna get anywhere, right? Now the other side of this of training, obviously we've gotta worry about the muscular integrity part, but on the other side of things, we've got the nutrition part, we've got the dieting phase. So once we get those muscles in order and we can actually get those muscles to cooperate and function properly, then we can worry about losing fat, right? Because muscle building and fat loss do not happen at the same time. So once we've got those muscles working properly and we can engage them properly, we know how to use them, we can then say, all right, now we can safely enter a dieting phase and we can start to see some of that fat come off. Now, keep in mind, there is no such thing as spot reducing. Okay, so if I say, hey, I want to get rid of this, or hey, I want to get rid of this, or this, or whatever, we can't literally wave a magic wand over that spot and have that spot of fat disappear, right? We lose fat all over our whole body in a kind of systemic, right, in a systemic way. So when you're ready to enter a fat loss phase, you do have to keep that in mind that your body just, um, it's going to be partly genetic. Um, some medications can affect where your body pulls from. If you have a history of birth control use, that can affect where your body pulls fat from. Okay. But it's mostly going to be genetic where we hold on to fat. Um, I know for me personally, I've been, you know, I'm obviously going through a prep right now. My show's coming up in less than two weeks. I just checked in with my coach a few minutes ago. For me, I hold a lot of fat around my glutes. When I start to lean out, my stomach leans out real fast. So my glutes are what really holds on to fat, my glutes and my thighs. So it's gonna be different for everyone. Your body might just be the type of body that holds on to fat in one particular place. And so you do have to be a little bit more 
patient, I guess, on the fat loss side, whereas on the muscle building side, that's something that you can see very easily. And the client I was having this conversation with yesterday in her progress photos, you can see she has this nice core lift. It looks like, looks like she got this tummy tuck because we've been working on that core integrity now for about three months and we're about to enter a dieting phase, right? But again, we have to, and when we enter that dieting phase and we're looking at fat loss, we do have to be patient because I cannot control and no one can control where body fat comes off of first, okay? So thank you guys for listening to my rant, rant over. Have an awesome Tuesday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central Time. Bye.